minutes the slide or I like to call it socking or socks. No, let's call it socking. What you need? Two socks. Two socks um, that are very slippery on, a, on your floor. So I don't know what floor you have. If you have a non-slippery floor, a carpet or anything else, there are other ways. So you can maybe use a plastic bag or find something that slides on your carpet or your floor when you put it on your feet and on your hands. So go down and pull on, pull on, put on your socks. So this is hardcore for the core and we're gonna start right away guys. All right, so here, uh-huh, you can see they're very slidey. So come on all four and very, very simple. Go through cat and cow, arching and contracting your spine, some circles, you know, it's super quick mobilizing. Quickly in child's pose and, and please stay here for a little bit longer if you need it. Just so we can really uh, go into this socks, socking. On all four of your yoga mat, put the right leg outside the mat, the left leg outside the mat. So you're already here in this wide plank. The arms push out of the hands, out of the shoulder. And now we pull in left, right, straighten it out. Left, right, pull in, pull and out. And pull in, pull in, pull out, pull up. In, in, out, out. In, keep pushing into your hands. Keep not dropping in your lower back. Out, out. In, in, out, out. Change the side. First, right goes in. Left, in, right, out. In, in, out. Pushing in your hands in your shoulders, out of the shoulders. Last two, out, out, one, out, out. Knees down, sit back, get off the hands. Just sit, sit and breathe. A few moments, we go right back in the same position. So just close your eyes, give your hands a little sh uh, shake if you want or rest. Take a few breaths. And let's go right back in, same position, hands shoulder width apart, keep pushing out of the shoulders, keep pressing the hands into the mat. Most important thing, no hanging in the lower back. Again, both legs in this wide plank. Now we're gonna push in, pull in, sorry, both legs together. Pull them in, push them out. Pull, push, pull, Push, pull, push, and we go four, ten, nine, eight. These are seven amazing six for handstand stuff. Four, three, two, one, and come back, relax. So these already, if you do them right, that means if you're not as soon as you catch yourself feeling when you pull in it a little bit in the lower back, please stop. Because the one thing we don't want to hurt, yes, we don't want to hurt ourselves. So, third variation, come back, same position, and now this is quite advanced. So, check it out, try it, maybe it works a little bit, and you don't have to come all the way up. We're going to pull in the legs, but at the same time, the hips are moving up. So this is an amazing pre-exercise for handstands. All right, here we go. So this is what I'm doing. And as you can see in this, in all the other variations, my shoulders, they're a little further than my wrists, but they don't move. Now, with already the first little bit I'm moving forth and then up, 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 and slide back. And the first one is really important. Slide a little bit forward and then up and back and 
up four and back and four and back do it slow control five until ten back and six contract exhale seven eight keep contracting nine and ten and come down sit back relax rest the wrists rest the wrists now also mobilize it a little bit and now the side pull-ins i'm gonna put my right hand on the yoga mat and i'm gonna just be a little bit diagonal so here and so now guys we're gonna pull in the legs again with bending the knees and pulling them in you can um, have your left arm my right arm is on the mat and the right arm again pulling out out of the shoulder pushing the hands in fingers in out of the shoulder the left arm you can have it as a little help to pull now sides in go one two three four five maybe without the arm one two three four five turn around same thing shoot them out now left hand pull out of the shoulder press the hand in the ground hold on now with the right hand just as a little control and one pull in two three pull side core five maybe leaving the arm away five pull three contract four two one ha we're coming and now sit back relax and now we're gonna switch the socks to the hands uh -huh. so just for your head you can always come up with other things but this is the stuff you have for the straight both hands down always pushing in the ground out of the shoulders pulling first only the legs in by bending the knees and then the next one pulling your whole hips up as you pull the legs straight in pulling hips up and you can even come up with own variations you will see when you have the socks and the floor um, how much there is so one one more thing before we put the socks on our hands it's actually one of my favorites so come a little bit uh, before your mat here or if you like rather to have the grip of your mat I can go diagonal so if I think you guys see me well right I'm sure you see my booty Woo! so this is what I call the ice skating socking ice skating socking the right goes over the left left over right and boom 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 imagine you're the most greatest ice skate man not the greatest showman but the greatest ice skate man and boom boom hips 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 twist them in right left right left now reverse boom boom it's harder and from the core keep sliding keep ice skating five four three two collapse one this stuff is hardcore now time for the end goodies do this in between to get a little bit loose and to celebrate yourself because what you just did is hardcore um, and you also realize how quickly, which is so fascinating, how quickly we can get the body activated. 
exercises like this, the slides, you need your whole body. You cannot even do it with lacking because otherwise it's not possible to do the move. So these kind of exercises, they target everything. You still need to make sure that your setup, meaning your alignment with the shoulders, with, uh, with your straight spine not hanging, that that is aligned correctly to not injure yourself. But to make the movement, you need the whole body. That's why these exercises are amazing. And that's why I'm talking like that. <laughs> okay, so, didn't even show you. So, put your socks on your hands. If you are grossing yourself out by your own socks, take new socks. I like, I like my socks, even though they're stinky, but it's my stick. So, put them on and then double them. So you have like mittens. You can actually use mittens if you have. Now, be on all four, but this would be kind of if you're on all four on your forearms. The hands, your mittens are now, you can already tell where we're gonna go. Right, we're gonna shoot out the body and pull it back in. So first, check in with your spine and this stuff also, guys, on the shootout, we don't wanna hang here. You wanna be neutral. You don't need to be super contracting. You wanna be neutral, okay? Now, fix your shins in the ground. Really press them in the ground. Now slide forward until you feel you can go. Maybe you can go all the way and then pull yourself back in. Okay, eight together, here we go. Inhale, shoot out, exhale, pull in. One, and two, and three, and exhale, four, and shoot out, five, exhale, and six, really helps to make the sound, and seven, last one, eight, I was lying, now, nine, stay there, stay there, hold it, for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One last one. So also this, you can see, you can do your variations, as many as you want. One thing, and I know it will happen to some of you, let's say you are Let's say you are here and you think you can never pull yourself back and you only come until here. Let me even go further and you're like, there's no way I can pull myself back. Check this. Make little slide, I don't want to say hops, but chunk it up, make it in pieces. So even if you say, I really want to go far and I can't pull myself back in, until here and then boom, you can slide back in. If that is still not possible, check this. Out and then one at a time. And out, one at a time. And out, one at a time. So this was really it for the core and I'm just gonna show you since I already have them on my hands. This is like the bonus track for the guys, for you guys who had CDs back in the days. Remember the hidden track? I'm your hidden track now! So I'm already listening. Okay, so you're laying on your stomach. Uh, your floors are gonna be super clean after that. So here, swimming exercises. Up. So anything you can do in this position Keep the arms straight. And even that, you know, be creative. Sliders, one side to the other side. Out, in, out, in. They don't have to be far or high or crazy. It doesn't have to be like this. 
but you're gonna activate again all these beautiful muscles, the little muscles running in between the ribs, on your back, and the muscles that are connecting because you're doing a movement. So, sliders, one arm open, both arms open, bring it in, make circles, wax on, wax off, all the goodies are possible with just two socks.